join up to the strike force. Hi, it's uh, Jeff Vaughan here, assistant coach with the Adelaide Strikers, and alongside me, my fellow assistant, Joey Dawes. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to ask Joey a few questions today about the Strikers, how we're going, and, and what's been happening and what's coming up. Joey, Christmas break has just been uh, been and gone. Um, can you give our, our loyal fans a bit of an idea of what the boys have been up to and uh, and how they celebrated the Christmas break? Well, morning, I guess, with the new schedule, the boys scattered. You know, the guys from interstate have all gone home including myself and the local boys probably ate and drank too much like you and I, I'd say. So it was a good break. It's been a busy schedule. Yep. Um, that's obviously the way this tournament goes. How has everyone been feeling about the schedule so far? Yeah, I think, again, being a new concept with the, the different franchises, everyone's still pretty excited. A bit of travel and bumping in and out of different venues, but it's all pretty exciting and, and new. So it's, it's been great. It's been great on TV. We've, we've all been watching the, uh, the Big Bash. Um, much discussions about it in the rooms? Yeah, everyone sort of has watched the games the night before and then has a chat about the funny parts and the good parts and things that we can use in our upcoming game. So it's been, uh, again, exciting and new. Now, we've got Hobart tomorrow night, yep. who are none from uh, two and zip. Uh, we were certainly hoping to be two and zip, but we got met by, by Chris Gale the other night. Good Gale, can yeah. you give our fans a, a bit of an idea about, uh, about Hobart and what we can expect from them? Yeah, well, they're playing pretty good cricket at the moment. They're a side that's probably different to the other sides we've played and they rely heavily on their bowling side of things where you know Sydney uh, rely heavily on their batting with Gale uh, so different challenge for us they're a very skillful side with the ball so our batters which um, you know have done very well so far will have to be on top of their game and then you know but their weakness in their batting probably gives us a great opportunity if our bowlers do our job we can knock them over cheaply and go home with two points. Speaking about Hobart and, and the spin, they've obviously got uh, uh, two or three spinners that they will be playing against us. Yep. How have you gone with the spin culture here in South Australia? You, you'd love to be playing seven or eight big, quick, fast bowlers, but uh, but obviously it doesn't uh, work as much in this format. Yeah, well, as you know, Chuck doesn't like the big, hairy, scary. He likes to get the, uh, the softer member of the bowling side in, if I can say that. So spin to win and all that sort of rubbish. But uh, no, um, it's been a challenge, but it's been good. You know, it's been good to learn and, and something different from where I come from. But, you know, on the Adelaide Oval Wicket, where we're tomorrow night, uh, it's it's a big part of a successful formula. And I'm sure our five or six spin bowlers would love exactly what you just said then about the softer members of the group. Normally, you're having a go at the batters, but uh, but obviously today it's the spinners that you're having a bit of a crack at. Well, obviously, this being published, that's probably the kindest thing I've called them all year is the softer member of the bowling attack. Absolutely. And thank you for toning it down today. No uh, at home tomorrow night, uh, we're really looking forward to being back here. What can we expect, firstly, at Adelaide Oval, the wicket, and then the crowd? Oh, well, this is our home turf, isn't it? This is our fortress that we're trying to create. and. In 2020 cricket, we have a wonderful record here, obviously with the strikers and then previously under the old regime with the Redbacks. So trying to build on that and, and uh, the crowd, you know, my first 2020 game here last week was fantastic with a good crowd and hopefully with Christmas and everyone's still with a few beers and their guts will come down and make some noise and we can have a really good night. Yeah, we had 12, I think just under 12,000 for our for game number one. We're certainly hoping for around about 20 tomorrow night. And as you said, the Christmas culture, a few people coming down, giving our strikes some real support and uh, and certainly hurling a little bit of abuse at the, at the Hobart boys because we certainly cop a lot when we're on the road. Uh, can you suggest that for, for our fans tomorrow night? Absolutely, I know the boys got sprayed in Sydney a bit and uh, you know, we can come down and the Blue Army continues to grow and the blue zone or the striker zone continues to grow and we can give a bit of advice to the opposition. Obviously not all that friendly, it'd be fantastic. And plenty of blue wigs. Blue wigs, yep. You need blue wigs. <laughs> yeah, <you>? absolutely. <laughs> well, to all our strikers fans, we uh, we really ask you and urge you to come down tomorrow night. Give us a lot of support and, and hopefully we can put a real uh, show on for you guys and, and come away with a good win against the Hobart Hurricanes. Thanks, Joey. Thanks, mate.